for this video because what we have started over this last year is what's called the $5 investment challenge. And the concept is simple. Take $5 per day that the stock market is open, invest it in anything that you like, and share your results. First and foremost, you can find that under 5indaily.com. Again, that's 5indaily.com if you want to find it. Or you can simply click down below in the description to get access to this group. I'm charging a dollar a month not to make money just to keep the spammers out of the group. But once you go to 5indaily, it'll say join for $1. You simply put in your information. You can join us because we're sharing our results together. You can see we've got 703 members in the group as we speak. But today, I'm going to give you guys an update. We started February 1st. We went February to March, March to April, and April to May. And what that means is we have now completed our first 90 days of the challenge. And so what today I'm going to be showing you guys is what were we able to accomplish in the first 90 days of the challenge. First things first, I want to give a massive shout out to Snowball Analytics, which is the website you currently see on screen. I use this to uh, really follow all my portfolios. I've got a long-term portfolio. I've got a fun money portfolio. I've got my $5 challenge portfolio and they all connect to your regulated brokers. So it enables me to see my analytics in a better place so I can see all of my brokers in one place. You guys can feel free to click the link in the description to get access to them and just click the link and then you can start a free trial to check it out to see if you like it. Anyway, full, full disclaimer here, uh, there is cash in this account. So it does say the value is 552. Uh, but that's not really the case in terms of the investment value. You can see I've got $218.51 sitting in cash in the account. So keep that in mind. We're going to be focusing today on this funds section, which is what have I invested in for the first 90 days? And so to start, uh, I've been investing in, and I've shared this publicly on YouTube, 50-50. $2.50 a day in the VTI, which is the Vanguard Total Stock Market Index, which think about that as the ticker symbol. So you could buy every stock in the market in one button. And secondly, the SCHD, which is the Schwab U.S. Dividend Equity ETF, which is following the S&P 500. You can see I own 0.65 approximately shares of VTI, and I own 2.13 shares of SCHD now. And you can see the allocation is almost perfectly 50-50. Obviously, it's 250, 250, 250. And so each day it tries to get perfect as I have it all automated. I don't click anything. I've got this fully automated with my broker. So what has been the result so far? Well, VTI for sure has been outperforming my SCHD position. VTI is up in the first 90 days, almost 2%, $3.04 gain. You can see I've invested $165.00. And 32 cents. It's currently worth 168.04. And then you can see over here at SCHT, I've invested 165.65, and it's currently worth 166.28. And so this is what I've done to start. And that's what I wanted to share with you guys today is what am I going to be doing now? First things first, when I click in this, you can see without fail, every day I've invested. So you can see every little bubble. I've invested, I've invested, I've invested, I've invested every little time up, 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 and then down, down, down. Every time on the way down, I've invested. That brought my dollar cost a little bit better as this market came back down. Secondly, we could say the same thing here on this front, which again is up, 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 and then down, 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 down. And so the goal for us is now to start to decide what are we going to do? What I couldn't do is start a you know, a challenge. If I want to be a great educator, I can't start a challenge and say, hey, I'm doing a $5 challenge and just start investing $5 into this stock and that stock and that stock. Because then at the beginning, if I invested $5 and say Apple, well, now I own 100% Apple. And the problem is, Per my rules, I do not want to give myself a ton of exposure into one given stock. And so my goal was to get the overall account balance up. And I wanted to get the account balance to a, to a place like it is now where we're talking about over $300 in the account in the funds group. You can see we're up to $334 now on the account balance. 
And now if I were to invest $5 into a hand-selected stock, it's not going to be worth from an allocation perspective nearly as much. And that's exactly what I want because I want to have 60 to 70% of my allocation of my funds being in major ETFs such as these two, and then 2 to 3% of my allocation in any given hand-selected stocks. And so now I'm going to start changing my strategy. This is where we start to try to get ahead of the market because from an analytically per, uh, correct perspective, when you guys look at this, let's go over to the analytics really quick. When you guys look at this growth, look at this for a minute. The last six months, the S&P 500 has outperformed my portfolio. And so you say to yourself, well, Patrick, what's the point? Now, granted, this is sort of skewed because we didn't start the challenge back here, right? Uh, we didn't start the challenge till February 1st. So this is where I started the challenge. So it is sort of uh, skewed in a way. So you can see once I started the challenge, which is right here, this is where we are at. You can see I'm 3.36% behind what the S&P 500 would have been if I just bought the ticker symbol SPY. That's the first thing I love about Snowball Analytics is you never want to be in a position designing a portfolio and logging into your analytics section and looking at growth and being behind. Now, obviously, the reason I'm behind is I've just simply stuck with total market ETFs and, of course, the dividend fund from the S&P. And so I don't expect to be ahead because I'm not investing to be ahead. But now I'm cranking it up a notch. Now I'm changing the strategy. This is the why in the road to where now what I'm going to be focusing on is trying to find solid stocks that I think have good chances of working their way higher over the next 3, 6, 9, 12, 18 months that will allow me to then grow this number. So this blue, which is my portfolio, is ahead of the S&P. My entire goal is not to say, you know, Patrick, what's your goal of percentage gain? It's not really. The goal is to be ahead of the S&P. And right now I'm not accomplishing that. And so I need to make a change. And so the change is going to be simple. The change is going to be looking at those hand-selected stocks. And so for now, as you guys can see, SCHD's dividend yield is 3.43%. Uh, and you're going to start to see that we're going to start making some dividends because now my, uh, my, my account value, value invested, is getting large enough. So you're going to start to see that happen. We're going to start to see this sort of compound on itself. And again, I realize it's a small number. For a lot of you guys looking at this, you might not be very impressed. And that's not the, really the point. The point is teaching the mentality behind consistently investing $5 a day without question every single day that the market is open. And so, again, if you guys are not part of this challenge, you can start whenever you like. Simply go down in the description or type in 5indaily.com. And join our group for a dollar a month. The, the dollar is not there to make money. The dollar is simply there to stop the spammers because we had a tremendous amount of people coming in and selling their product or service, yada, yada, yada. And join us because we're going to be bouncing ideas off of one another. And I'm really going to need you guys to start coming in there because guess what? When I start picking those hand-selected stocks, that group will find out before the YouTube video. The YouTube video will be talking about things 30 to 60 days in the past, like I am now. I'm talking about what I did. But if you want to know what I'm going to do, and you want to know when I've just bought a new stock, and you want to know what I'm looking at, you ought to join that group. And so make sure you do that in the description below. So I hope you guys got some value out of today's video. Again, down in the description are going to be two links. Number one, to join our group. Number two, if you want to get a free trial to Snowball Analytics, I have the link for that and simply click the link and then click on the free trial button uh, to see if you like it. And if you, if you like it and you want to see multiple portfolios in one place and all sorts of other fun stuff, you can feel free to upgrade. But this is what it's all about, guys. Growing consistently, no matter the income level, but simply $5 a day starting February 1st. I now have $334 sitting that I otherwise wouldn't have because I would probably have spent it at Starbucks or something like that. So I hope this gives you guys a ton of value. Have your family, have your friends, have your colleagues, have your peers. Join our challenge to make ourselves better for the long term. We'll see you guys on the next update video.